I like to think that I, I'm giving my best to the students, but I know that, you know, I'd probably need at least another half of the time. So we spend a significant amount of our time upgrading and learning the technology, and uh, our trade, meanwhile, is really where our focus should be. I think that quality education uh, stems from the curriculum in the first place. First of all, we set out a, a meaningful yeah. curriculum for so the students, stuff where they're learning new items. So the curriculum is important, it's got to be relevant for them, and it's got to challenge them. And see what you get for an answer. Uh, my name's Marie DeRoche, and I've been in education for many, many, many years. This issue of retention, I think, uh, can backfire on us. I think there are a lot of initiatives that we can try for retention. In my particular uh, case, I found that uh, sometimes when I found, okay, I really got to make a big push to try to get these students to pass and give them a second chance at an exam or something like that. And when I've done that, it has not been successful. Expressing another way, but the where it could be better, I think um, helping students enter programs that really truly interest them. My name is Charlene Conrad Beatty. I've been teaching at the college for a total of 13 years, uh, full time for the last four or five years. If we want them to have a quality education, right, if we want them to be able to get something out of it, we want them to feel that they're valued. And having both had a college and a university uh, learning environment for myself, I know that I connected better at college because it, there were smaller classes, the profs knew us, and you felt like you belonged. When I first came here, the average class size was maybe 20 to 25 students. The students knew that you knew who they were. You were a known quantity and that you were approachable and they knew where to find you. And that's hard to do when class sizes get so to be count. 50, 60, that's or 70. We're going to get three groups working on the total station. More and other three more three more three I'm uh, Jack Wilson. I'm a professor at uh, Gonquin College. And I've been teaching at the college for almost uh, 30 years. And class sizes are increasing uh, quite substantially. But on top of that, it's just how the technology keeps impinging upon what we do. My name is Michael Noth. I teach uh, carpentry apprenticeship. I've been here at the college for 23 years full time. I think it's said that in uh, elementary school that teachers teach students and in high school and college that teachers teach subjects. Uh, and I think when it comes to apprenticeship, we need to go back to the old model where we are actually teaching students. Technology for us is, is an aid. Technology is not uh, an end in itself because the guys who are coming into to the trades, they're working with their hands, they're working with the tools. It's very hard to pound a nail over the internet, very hard to cut a piece of wood, so we need a smaller group that we can manage and that we can uh, pass on what we have learned, and that's really what apprenticeship's all about. It's not always. One thing I, I notice with students is that we think they're tech savvy, and they're tech savvy, in my experience, in relation to fiddling with it, right? The social stuff. But when it comes to applying it for learning, they really struggle with it. And technology doesn't hit every learner either. I, I want to be able to embrace new technology and new tools, but I need the time to be able to do that. And I need support to be able to see how it fits within my curriculum. Roughly of the daytime hours that are taught, about 55% are taught by full-time and 45% are taught by non-full-time. The reality is many non-full-time people are hired simply because they're cheaper. The result is that there's a very high turnover. This is occupancy point number B. So there's a certain degree of instability in the system. It's not good for the programs, which means it's not good for the students. And it churns up a lot of good non-full-time people. I talked about, but I do think that the whole idea of quality education is about part partnerships. If we've got the professors, we've got the college, and we have our students, and we all have to work together.